what does music have to do with neutron stars? So let me tell you. You know, you record these signals with giant radio telescopes and receivers and amplifiers. You can take the output of those amplifiers and either just record it digitally onto disk, or you can feed it through a speaker and listen to it. And so I've brought with me some sounds from actual radio pulsars, real pulsar data. Uh, I'm going to play for you the first one. These are the pulse periods. You can get a feeling for these sounds. This is pulsar 0329 plus 54. So this pulse period is about 0.7 seconds, uh, so a little faster than once per second. The next pulsar is a very is much faster pulsar, 89 milliseconds or 11 hertz. It's a pulsar in the constellation of Vela. Oops. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Now, this is a much faster pulsar. You can hear pulse-to-pulse -pulse modulation. The amplitude of the individual pulses is not constant. Sometimes you'll even hear a pulse is missing. The next one always comes back exactly in phase. There are excellent clocks in that sense. So the different ticks of the clock might have different intensities in radio, but they always come in on time. The next one is actually the crab pulsar, 33 milliseconds. This is actually a simulation because the supernova remnant this one's embedded in produces tons of radio noise. It's hard to pick out the signal from all that radio noise, so we've simulated it. And now this noise is getting to be, for some of you, a little bit annoying in the sense of uh, kind of a buzzing. And some of you might not even be able to distinguish the individual uh, pulses. It's very close to what is possible to be distinguished, to, to, to hear actually hear separated pulses. The last one is a really fast rotator, 1.5 seconds. This is uh, the second fastest pulsar known. And what you're going to hear is now, this is very much uh, in the audio range. So now we're really talking music. Uh, to those of you who are um, music aficionados, this is not a perfect tone. It has higher harmonics. Uh, this, in other words, the pulse the average pulse shape is not sinusoidal, it's actually narrower. Uh, and you can understand now why they're called, uh, they produce, you could think of them as uh, uh, neutron stars in F-sharp. Um, now, it so happens the fastest pulsar that we found is in a star cluster, as a globular cluster, in this case, the globular cluster Terzan 5. And it turns out this globular cluster is home to many, many pulsars to a wide variety of these, uh, of these, and especially to really fast rotating pulsars. Uh, roughly 30 of them are in the cluster that are known so far. And what I thought I would just bring to you is the music of the globular cluster Terzan 5, where we've now simulated the different millisecond pulsars, each with its own frequency, each with its own tone, and at the end, you're going to hear the whole swarm to really get uh, the effect of what this uh, cluster holds. Okay, here we go, the music of Turzan 5. music from the heavens.